Guess we get better get back on topic, shouldn't we? Yeah. We done got sidetracked. Came out with some videos before. Had some old ones I've been wanting to post. So we're getting back to a topic. Little mini series we started a little several videos ago. Wendell Lee Well Services coming back at you. Thank you again for tuning in. As always, we appreciate your comments. We appreciate you staying tuned in. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to smash the thumbs up button for us. Keep the YouTube algorithm happy, as always. Doing another video here based off some of the comments that we get from you, the customer, you, the viewer. Uh, we see these questions all the time. Going back to the top five most common asked questions about wells and pumps. And this is, how do I know when my well has enough water? Or how do I know my well will provide enough water? So here we go, we're getting into it. Really, that is gonna, it's pretty easy answer with a complicated outcome. Uh, the answer to that question is, is what are you the customer gonna be doing with it? So we're talking about, you know, standard, six-inch wells here, a standard residential well, um, you know, typically a well like that. They, they're high flow rate, low storage, um, so you don't have to have a whole lot of storage with a six-inch well because the flow rate's typically high in them, you know, typically. I know we're in the rock country. It's a little bit different for sand uh, or down near the coast. They do four-inch wells. Um, but again, the concept's still the same, to provide enough water to supply your needs where you don't ever run out of water. Um, typically, our average well, I would say, per, here in the rock country, upstate South Carolina, North Carolina, produces about 10 gallons a minute. Okay, that's averaging the highs, 100 gallons a minute, and the lows, you know, half a gallon a minute and less. Um, across the board, tend to be about 10 gallons a minute. So what do we like to see? We get this question asked all the time. What do we like to see? Typically, if it's just a house that's a typical residence, family of four, family of five, don't have a pool, going to be doing, you know, simple watering of your lawn or going out with a hose, watering plants, may have a little small garden. Typically, I like to see five gallons a minute minimum for a well. Now, we've done other videos on about low yield wells. If you don't get five, I'm gonna put a link in the description and up there at the top of the video for you to go click on that. Obviously, you can do it with less than that, but typically, if I get four to five gallons a minute for a typical residential application, I'm pretty happy. Five gallons a minute is 300 gallons an hour, 7,200 gallons of water a day that you have available, not counting the storage in your well. That's a lot of water to pretty much do whatever you want to do. So for option number one, just a standard residential home, no irrigation other than just a little bit, maybe have a garden or water in the flowers every now and then, five gallons a minute's like to see. Scenario number two is maybe it's a family of seven or eight people you're going to do a little irrigation, but not, not a big system. Maybe you're going to have a pool that you want to keep full, fill up. You know, pools use a lot of water. We like to see 10 gallons a minute for that. So going up from 5 to 10. Uh, 10 gallons a minute is obviously 5 gallons a minute is a lot, but 10 is a lot more. Um, 10 gallons a minute will fill, fill a pool fairly quickly. Um, 10 gallons a minute can run smaller irrigation systems. Uh, set up in the ground if you're wanting to do that. 10 gallons a minute will pretty much do whatever you want it to do. Obviously, it's going to be dependent upon what size pump you have. It's going to determine the water that you get out of that. But for a flow rate specific question, for a house that's doing a little bit of irrigation, maybe have a pool, we like to see 10 gallons a minute. Now, option number three, let's going to say we're going up to a well that's it's a household application, but it's got a lot of irrigation. You got big areas of yards, you got big flower beds. I'd like to see 15 gallons a minute on that. So five, 10, and three flashes, 15. I just came up with that on the fly. Five, 10, and 15, that's what we like to see depending on the setup that you're in. Now, obviously you get into commercial and agricultural applications, that's a completely different window. Uh, that's highly 
specific upon what you're using and how your system's going to be set up. You know, um, some of them uh, go up to four, five, six hundred gallons a minute. Just depends on what you're getting. But get this question asked all the time when we're drilling a new well. well what do you think? I'm going to leave it up to you, the professional. How much water do you think I need? Where do you know when to stop? How do you know when to stop? Uh, we just know from experience. Um, we've, we've been doing it a while. The people that have been doing it before me have been doing it a while. And you just tend to, over the years, we hit different veins of water and at different depths, different rates of water. We just have come to a conclusion of what works best for people. So that's where those come from. So as always, just trying to get back at you. Sorry we got out of order a little bit on our video sequence, but that's going to wrap up our series about the top five most common asked questions about whales. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for us, feel free to drop us a line, and uh, we'll start another little video series for you there as well. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out, WendellyWellServices.com. Stay tuned for more videos.